Saturday lunchtime. We're back. Uh, after an international break means Liverpool play 12.30 that's how it works uh, but they're playing Manchester City away from home City 1.72 the draw is 4.3 Liverpool are 4.4 to go and get themselves a win uh, I will start with Neil Mellon on this one because uh, he's been texting me about this but um, he's uh, Neil looking at this um, I know I know you're positive about this but there is a, just this feeling now well you look at the table it's City and Liverpool and, and it's like it's just like old times First v second, absolutely, yeah. Um, Liverpool are back this season, no doubt about that. City are aware of that. Um, Liverpool, I think, have got 12 more points, 11, 11 sorry, since this time last season. So, so, so Liverpool are certainly back. The 12 30 kickoff doesn't help Liverpool. I don't think it helps Man City either. Um, I feel as though player welfare isn't taken into consideration after an, an international duty. Now, now, we're kicking off about the 12 30. PSG and Bayern Munich have to play on a Friday night. Uh, and you think, you know, why, why, why is that allowed? You know, who's looking after these players? They're travelling all around the world and yet coming back for big games. This is the biggest game of the season, the Premier League. The top two teams, and they are. Arsenal will argue they're in it, they're not. And and we're chucking it at 12.30. Will we get to see the spectacle, the quality, which we know these teams can provide? I'm not, I'm not sure at 12.30 we will. Liverpool can go there and get a result without a doubt. From a Liverpool point of view, I'd snap your hand off for a point right now because City are just so good at home. They really are. And and a lot of Liverpool's key players have been in South America. The fact that Nunes is on fire, but he's been playing for Uruguay. Diaz, Colombia, McAllister for Argentina, Alisson for, for Brazil. These are key players for Liverpool that would start, and I'm not sure all will start because it's a 12.30 kickoff. If this was Sunday, they'd all start and I think you'd see a better game. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been positioned here. I mean, obviously the European week doesn't help them when they come back. They've both got to play in Europe next week. Um, Paul, what what's your, your your neutral opinion on on this one? City Liverpool, uh, Liverpool don't go there and get wins too often. No, it's a tough place to go. City are a fantastic outfit, and you know they're the title holders for a reason. But I, I I I've got sympathy with the twelve thirty kickoff as well. But I understand why. There's there's two sides to that. The TV rights holders they have. They bid for weekends, so they have certain weekends. Who gets first pick? And when you look at this weekend's fixture list, there's not much that jumps off the page. If you've got a Man City Liverpool, you're going to pick that. If you've got first pick, basically they take it in turns to pick which game they want for their slots at the weekend. If you have the first pick and you don't pick Man City Liverpool, another TV t broadcaster will take that game. So that's the reason. But it seems to be Liverpool every single time after an international break, which. And another thing, we're, we're guilty of a Premier League and a, and a country of not helping our teams in the Champions League. I, I, like quite a few others, like to see British teams do well in the Champions League. Yet we seem to give teams playing in the Champions League on a Tuesday or a Wednesday the 12.30 kickoff on a Saturday. When you look across Germany, you look across Italy, they'll postpone games. They'll, they'll put the league back a day to help their teams in the Champions League. And we don't do that. So... The Man City Liverpool game, I think we will be deprived of a little bit of quality because Jurgen Klopp's players, um, so the South American players, they'll get back. Well, I mean, what will they get? They'll get back Thursday, um, jet lagged. Yep. They'll go into training Friday, stay in a hotel Friday night, and be expected to be ready for selection Saturday. Pep Guardiola, on the other hand, call me a conspiracy theorist, but Haaland pulled out of the international side for a dead rubber game. Rodri pulled out of the Spanish side for a dead rubber oh, game. I didn't know that. And he got them both back, and they'll both be fit for the weekend. Yeah, um, Harlan was in a lot of pain apparently from a small injury. I've mm. had one of those. You know, when you bang, just bang your toe, terrible, isn't it, for a few seconds? But Harlan and Rodri, both games, dead rubbers. But to be, to, be, to be fair, Gareth Southgate did um, Jurgen Klopp a bit of a favour by just playing all the, all of his England Manchester City players as long as possible, and again in in, in dead rubbers. So whatever happens in the international break, Neil, it, there's still players who are playing elsewhere. They're not with the with the club against. The, you know, the their biggest rival inside both of these clubs they both know that this is the game and they they, they will want to be prepared for it to the to the final second won't they yeah and, and both teams haven't had that preparation I think that's what what we're talking about that, that's why it's disappointing that it's obviously after an international break because that the players will have had literally a day to train to recover ahead of such a big game mention about Haaland uh, didn't play for Norway he didn't play last year when City beat Liverpool 4-1 so 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 I think Rodri would be the bigger miss uh, for Man City. I really do believe that. Edison as well didn't go away with Brazil. I, I presume he'll be back fit. Ake, another one. You know, he's a doubt. But again, there's a list of four or five players that City have said are, I've been struggling. I expect to see on the team sheet uh, at the weekend. <laughs> the other one I don't is Kevin De Bruyne. But um, I, I think City's players will be 
will be fit for, for this huge, huge game. And like I say, Liverpool have a terrible record at City. They really do. 2015 was the last time uh, they won there in the Premier League, of course. Pep Guardiola wasn't even the manager. It, it was Pellegrini was the manager. So uh, Liverpool haven't beat City under Pep Guardiola in the Premier League. Did in the Champions League, which was a good one. So we've had a good moan about the international break, but who's going to win this, Paul? Because it's... Um, and, and at this stage of the season, we're into November, coming into December. It's, it's starting to matter, looking at, at, at the table as well. Liverpool would definitely take a point here, though, wouldn't they? Yeah, absolutely, they'd take a point. But you look at the table, they win, they go top. I mean, but this is, for me, it's a, it's a strange Premier League season already. I've seen it this morning, the amount of teams that have got over 25 points at this stage and the bottom half that have got below 15 points combined. I mean, there's 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 a lot of points that are, are at the top and not a lot at the bottom, but the points at the top this season are more shared out than they have been any, any other seasons, all the way down to Aston Villa in fifth. Um, City ha- are susceptible. We saw them concede four at Chelsea. Uh, I don't think they're actually at the level where the manager wants them yet. Defensively, they, they, con- they can concede goals. I'm looking at that, 4.4 for Liverpool. Listen, if... I'd never back against Man City at home, but for the for the Liverpool fans and for those of you out there that like a bit of value, you look at the Liverpool team, you look at the Liverpool players that can hurt this Man City side. There's definitely going to be goals in this. It's a both teams to score without a shadow of a doubt. Liverpool's record isn't great there. Are they due one, Mel's? Are oh, they due one? <laughs> yes, <laughs> absolutely due one. Yeah, I'm biting on that one. Um, <laughs> don't forget Brighton, Bournemouth, and Fulham. I've all scored at Man City this season, so I do think both teams will score. Um, listen, you need a little bit of luck in these games, there's no doubt about that. We've seen it in previous seasons when it's, um, I think Liverpool nearly scored, it was like three quarters of the ball was over the line, it was up to 11 inches or something. It's 11, 11, millimetre, 11 millimetres, never mind your inches. Yeah. Don't get those mixed they, up. It, it was that close. But yeah, I think you need a little bit of luck in this one. And maybe Liverpool argue that, you know, City have been absolutely brilliant at home. There's no doubt about that. More vulnerable away. You know, Paul mentioned the 4-4 at Chelsea. I think more vulnerable away, but at home, they've been absolutely superb. Liverpool can go there and win. Need to be at it. They were against Brentford, was there for that game. Liverpool were brilliant in that game. They're on a good unbeaten run. Got goals in the locker. It's the clean sheets. That's the worry. Haven't had a clean sheet away from home. So both teams to score. And, and also, here's a great stat for you. It was a great start. I sent it on the WhatsApp group if any of you saw it. <laughs> City have not beaten Liverpool in back-to-back top-flight league games since 1937. None of us were born then. I have to say no. top-flight because obviously the, the Premier League's come in. They have not won back-to-back league games against Liverpool since 1937. That is a long time. City have been dominating for a while in, in English football, but there you go. They did beat Liverpool 4-1 last time out, which was... Uh, a comfortable win. City played very well that day. Um, in fact, that was Liverpool's last defeat, proper defeat, because we got cheated out of it against Spurs and the one in the Europa League as well. So I'm saying that was City, uh, Liverpool's last defeat against City. See, that fact was so good. I put it on the little ticker underneath here. That's, I, I, I do listen to I do read, I do read your messaging. I do. I do, I do. Uh, Man City against Liverpool then, Paul. Like, let's get cards on the table here. What, what are we thinking? Goals. Goals? Yeah, I think there's goals. Um, both, as we saw... With City with a 4-4, Chelsea, um, Liverpool going forward. Liverpool seem to get three most games, especially Anfield. Got three last time out against Brentford and they've got the firepower to do so. I, I'm, this is this is the game of the weekend, ruined by the kickoff time because I don't know about Mel's, but I used to hate playing at this time on a Saturday and you very, very rarely get a good kickoff. The atmosphere is, you know, the fans have just rolled out of bed. The atmosphere is not great and you put a game like this on at this time. I think we're deprived of a game, but I think there'll be goals and I think that City will just edge it. But... It's a hard one to call for all these Liverpool fans and those of you that like Liverpool out there. At four seven, there's there's value there. There's definite value because you can't separate them really. Over two and a half, over three and a half. <sighs> I'll go over two and a half for sure. Over three and a half is yeah potentially you're looking at a three one then aren't you? A three one or a three two. Uh, City and both teams to score is definitely over two and a half. That's two point six. Neil, I know you're backing your Reds. Do you want absolutely yeah. <laughs> capable? It's not like this is. You know, Liverpool are capable of going there and getting the result. I think both teams to score is a safe bet. Um, goal scorer wise, Salah's been on fire and has been against City. He's got 16 goal involvements in his last 17 games against uh, City. 11 goals, five assists. So Salah would be a, a good bet. He came back a little bit earlier from international duty. His Egypt game was at the weekend rather than, than uh, early on in the week. So yeah, Salah to be involved in the goal in some way. I just hope Liverpool can nick it and, and can nick it. I don't think City will win the game. Yeah, I, I do, don't believe that. I know they are very strong. I just I think Liverpool will get something. 
Okay, yeah. Salah to score in a Liverpool win, and both teams to score is nine, if you like that. But Liverpool, uh, a very decent price going to Manchester City. Uh, they've crept up on things, really, and if, if things have gone differently at Tottenham, they might already be top. But it is first against second in the Premier League. Watch it in the clubhouse with sportsbet.io.